Hi, this is Steve Blosis. I'm a marketing manager at NXP Semiconductors. I've been doing I2C devices now for, for 11 years. And today we're going to talk about the migration from the PCA9509, uh, the bus buffer being used in a lot of different uh, applications for voltage level translation to newer lower voltage devices, PCA9509A and PCA9509P. The design, the 9509, it was designed for really uh, main systems and computing applications, going from really low voltage processors around 1 volt up to 3.3 volts. But we've seen customers using the device now in portable applications where they need lower power or they need you know, lower power consumption to have a longer battery life, and they also are going below 1 volt in both the battery-powered portable applications and the computing applications. The, uh, the primary difference between the 9509 and the 9509A and P is that it operates down to 0.8 volts with lower current consumption. In the 9509P, uh, it doesn't have the internal current source in order for you to size your own uh, pull-up resistors. The 9509A is released, so you can find information about it on the internet. The 9509P, it's going to be sampling here soon, later in second quarter, release in third quarter. Uh, contact your NXP account manager or i2c.support at nxp.com if you need additional information on the PCA 9509P. Here's some slides just showing the overall device operation. You got the low voltage side processor, the static offset which is needed for the, for, for the bidirectional translation always has to be on one of the sides. Here it's on the low voltage side. You have normal side on the B side. The A side is the low voltage side from 0.8 volts to 1.5 volts. The higher voltage side is from 2.3 to 5.5 volts. This device here, the 9509A, still has the current sources within the device, but is designed for lower current consumption. The 9509P is just like the 9509A, but there's no current sources within the device. So you have to have external pull-up resistors externally. This allows the engineer to set the RT, RC time constants and then it's the lowest possible power consumption because you can have really high value resistors here for the, uh, for the pull-ups. So if we take a look at the comparison between the 9509, 9509A, and 9509P, we see that uh, the 9509 it was spec to 0.95 uh, but really it's designed for one volt at the low limit and then one volt below the B side voltage. The A and P are designed from 0.8 to 1.5 volts. The current source is fairly strong here on the A side, uh, much less for the 9509A and there is no external current source on the P. You've got to use external pull-ups. The noise margin, uh, the 9509 has a fixed um, for, the, uh, for the offset, for the static offset, it's got a fixed static offset on the A side for the 9509. For the 9509A and P, it's variable. It's based on the uh, supply to VCCA. For the dry strength, you can't use pull-ups. It's got a very weak dry strength because of the internal current source from the 9, uh, 9509. For the 9509A and P, it's actually a much, it's a different type of output. It's the type of output we find on the 9517A was used here. So it's, it's a different output, much stronger drive. Voltage range, 3.35 volt node. Uh, for the 9509A and P, it's the 2.5, 3.3, and 5 volt nodes. Much higher current drive here on the B side for the A and the P device up to the fast mode plus uh, type drive. And then you can see here that the uh, uh, operating currents are much less. And with this device here, we don't offer the SO8 package. Most customers move to the MSOP8 or now the smaller like GM package, it's a 1.1 or 1.6 by 1.6 uh, leadless package. Okay, now let's talk about the uh, power consumption between the uh, 9509, 9509A, 9509P. Again, the A has the internal current source, the P doesn't, so you got reduced power consumption there. Uh, the 9509A, the current source uh, power is drawn from the A port, for the 9509A and P, the design's been changed because of the lower voltage there and to optimize the current consumption and to turn off the current mirrors when disabled, uh, which substantially reduces the current drain. So that's the biggest change here in the output of the A side. The uh, A and P current source is now drawn from the B side because of the low voltage at 0.8 volts. There's no headroom to operate the PMOS device. 
And the 9509P eliminates the current source, so you have the RC time constants and lowest power for the uh, portable applications. The uh, numbers in the tables don't include the operating current uh, from the external pull-ups on either the A or uh, B side. And for recommendations for use, the PCA 9509A would be the recommended device as it's a newer device for the low voltage applications. Some exceptions to that would be the 9509P if you want to use an external pull-up on the A side where you want to adjust it yourself for the RC time constant or for really low power applications. Or continue using the 9509, uh, there's two different reasons too. If you want the instant on from disables, if that's important, and your A processor side's not less than one volt, uh, and you're not really concerned about the standby current, use the 9509A. Or if you have the A port at the 1.8 volt or 2.5 volt nodes, you still need to use the 9509 uh, in those applications. So thanks a lot for listening. Uh, this is a really uh, good device for voltage level translations and isolate capacitance, especially when you get to the 1 volt, the uh, 0.8 volt uh, type levels. Uh, contact your NXP account manager if you need some more information or write us at the i2c.support at nxp.com if you need some additional information. Thanks a lot and have a great day.